Well, let's speak to Manak Dava, who's vice chairman of the organization which promotes Indian exports and advises the Indian government. He joins us live now from Mumbai. And welcome here to the program. Uh, we just heard the, descri uh, the government describe this as unfortunate, uh, as understatements goes. That's uh, right up there. I mean, how damaging could this be, do you think? Well, I tend to agree. It's not going to be very damaging because, as we have uh, said, the tariffs are going to uh, affect only about 10% of the total exports and the bill, the duties would be roughly around 300 million. So that's not a very large number, but more, what is more important is the sentiment behind it. India looks to the US as a partner. As you rightly said, Prime Minister Modi and uh, President Trump, President Trump who keeps on referring to Prime Minister Modi as his good friend. Uh, this is not uh, what is really expected and uh, you also know that we've been through some grueling elections for the last three months, and there hasn't really been enough time to get to the table and negotiate. Having said that, the Indian government stand also is very clear that the first interest is the Indian people, and they have to look at uh, tariffs, medical devices, for example, the costs and all have to be very reasonable. And the Indian market, the domestic market, especially with the Make in India program that the government is espousing, must be also protected. Now, that isn't is, the problem, uh, though, the isn't the, the problem global. there that uh, when America first meets India first, th there's only one real winner? No, I don't think so. I think th there can be, you know, there can be, uh, both can be winners in this uh, exercise. It's not necessarily so. And I am pretty confident that the government will and uh, Prime Minister Modi will, Commerce Minister Piyush Goyal, who has just taken over his responsibility. And the first thing that he is grappling with is this uh, termination of India from this uh, GSP, from the generalized system of preferences. And I'm sure that there will be some sort of a, a, a resolution to this yep. sooner it, than later. Br briefly, though, isn't the worry, like you alluded to, the direction of travel? Because it's only recently that uh, those waivers uh, for oil imports from Iran, uh, right. they changed, and that had an impact on the Indian economy. So it's the direction of travel that must be slightly troubling. Yes, it is, because not only that, the H-1B visa fees have been also increased by the Trump government. So yes, there is some disquiet, certainly, as far as the actions of the Trump government are, is concerned. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, it appears to be, I mean, I was watching your program earlier and we were talking about the uh, trade restrictions on Mexico, the tariffs which they want to put, and the re Republicans are uh, opposing this. And the same way, I think uh, many people in Congress and Senate have tried to approach uh, President Trump and plead the case for India. Well, Manak Deva, thank you so much for your time and joining us on today's Global. Thank you.